greeting students. Um, so kind of bummed that I don't get to see you guys on a daily basis, but I'm also excited um, to try out this online thing. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up the short story unit. Um, so for tomorrow, your one assignment is to finish your short story and submit it. Okay, starting tomorrow, I'll start grading the short stories. Um, Thursday, your assignment will be uh, to explain how you either did a dynamic character or a character foil in your story, and you're going to need to back that up with evidence. So make sure there are instances in the story that you can quote um, where your character either goes through a dramatic change, um, which is the, the dynamic character, or where you have two characters who are the opposites of each other um, in personality or in motive or in strengths or weaknesses. And that's going to be your character foil. Okay. And then come Friday, I will have graded or I will have read all of your short stories and given you suggestions. So your assignment Friday will be um, to change anything or uh, rant, make something more dramatic, or I'll just have a couple suggestions, nothing too wild, okay? Um, but in the meantime, just worry about finishing your short story. Also, general information. Um, sorry, it's really weird just talking to you guys through camera. General information. My office hours will be from 12 to 3. If you want personal tutoring, if you have any questions, um, we can either video chat, we can email back and forth, whatever is easiest for you guys. Also, um, we could, I could also email me if you need to talk over the phone if you don't have the internet, and I'm sure we could work that out as well. Um, okay, after this, we're gonna get started on a new unit which I'm really excited about more on that later. Shoot, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, as you're doing your short story, make sure you are very careful to um, follow these requirements. Let's see if I can get this to work. Just a second. Portion screen. Nope, not that one, not that one, not that one. Okay, so hopefully you can see this, but your short story needs to be 1,000 to 1,200 words. And you need to either have a dynamic character or character foil. You'll be filling out a worksheet to prove that you did that in your short story. Um, the setting, it needs to be set at a high school or park. At this point, we're, we're going to have a hard time filming it because I'm quarantined, or we're not quarantined, but we I won't be able to get um, actors together. Um, so if you want to go broader than a high school or a park, you're welcome to do that. And then just make sure it's formatted correctly. Um, lastly, maybe you guys want to meet my dog. Ula, come here. Come on. This is Ula. Well, come on. She is two years old, and she's a cutie. She's um, very particular. She Sometimes she'll only eat if I hand feed her. And whenever she's about ready to take a nap, she scratches on the ground a thousand times, does a circle um, about a hundred times, then she'll finally lay down. She's very ritualistic in that way. Um, but we'll see you later. Here's a good view of her. Say hi, Ula. Anyway, uh, make sure you email me if you have any questions. My email is provo.edu. Okay. Have a great day. We'll hear back. I'll, I'll have a new video posted on Thursday.